is up everyone this is Justin Wong and we're here with another tapping video but this time we're gonna focus on themes so what I mean by that we're gonna focus on just uh, whatever character we're playing against uh, while we're, we're, we're remaining we're gonna be using only their like history right their like universe and stuff like that so obviously right here you see all the Street Fighter cards and everything so it's gonna be really interesting just because um, you know obviously the decks gonna be complete weaker versus the meta so I mean, let's try to steal some wins and all that good stuff, right? Let's try. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna play Ryu, and obviously we have some Street Fighter cards that you normally see. You got Guy, Dan, um, some action cards with the Sonic Hurricane, uh, Ryu just uppercutting Sagat. It looks like a Street Fighter One art in general, so I don't know, maybe it is. So we're fighting against Chung Li, and you know she's already having some some good cards out, right? You know Dan does a uh, does one damage in front of the army. You know the Dan that has that good pose and everything. All right, you're gonna use this little dust clouds, give shield to your hero. That's fine, you know. I'm gonna kind of use this, right? Kind of trade. You know, take this uh, minus three first, right before you get your shield. So you know we're gonna take some life away from you in the process, right? And um, you know Chung Li's just waiting out, thinking about what to do. Plus one, plus one, a friendly unit. That's fine. Yeah, you'll be 2-4, and you know, you're probably gonna take out Dan, you know, Dan's usually the jobber of the series, which is fine, yeah, that happens. You know, we're gonna take the trade here, 2 damage right there, and you're gonna do this guy armor, oh, plus 2, plus 2 shield, and you know, I kinda, man, that's, that's kinda scary, because you know, it's gonna be one of those things where you're gonna be plus 4, plus 4 with a shield, so I need to take down you, minus 2, so hopefully you do not have a shield, if you do, I'll be pretty tight. Because that means you're gonna have. Oh, of course you have a shield. Of course you have a shield. Of course it's an orange. I just told you it was an orange. Ouch! That hurts. And then you got the piercing damage too. So that's one. That's something to be careful. Oh no. Oh no. That's gonna be hurtful. So we're gonna try to trade right there, and you're gonna do the leader summons. You know that's fine. You you have you take that two spots, but I have Shinku, so I need to time this just right. Did I get it? Oh man, but you know I just I just gotta obliterate you. I can't let you play. It's one of those things where I cannot let you play in that situation, right? So now I have to Nash the combo, but by my explore count is definitely whack. Um, I don't have a lot of explore cards here. Um, but it's one of those things that, you know, it's like I said, it's a Street Fighter deck. So it's one of those things where you kind of have to kind of just play it out. I do have the Fate Defying Ryu. Hey, come on, man. Felicia's mad cheap. That is so cheap, Felicia. How are you going to have that, right? How are you going to have something like that? Mm. You're going to do the deal X damage. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's fine. You should have probably chose the, the Ryu, to be honest. Because that one's the really hard part. That's the, that's the scary one. That, that card is... He'd just be rushing you down and everything. So yeah. So let's see what you're gonna do. Halves MB cost of a green unit deck. Okay. I actually ne never seen that card being used. I wonder if that's pretty good. You know, at least you have the cost. That's actually kinda strong right there. So we take out one Felicia, you take this three damage, and you know, you're probably gonna summon something. Okay, you summon Karen in that situation. You're gonna keep the try to get that victory right there, but I'm not gonna touch that because I don't wanna buff Karen at all. So we get that, you know, Zek with the combo. So we're gonna probably uh, add the combo, and uh, even though that doesn't look like a Street Fighter, hey man, that's what the Zeku card gives me. So we can't we can't really judge that, right? Right? There's no way we could judge that, can we? Can we judge that? No, I don't think so. But let's keep on trucking. Let's keep on trucking. Okay, he copies a friendly green unit and puts it place in the field. Oh, that's a good card too. So you know we're gonna do this. Might as well just spend it. Whoa! Why is there raffles in my deck? What? Guys, guys, this is this is a theme deck, man. Like, don't judge me. Uh, we're not gonna play Raphlos, right? We just we just have him there. We just have him there. Uh, he just he just kind of like I guess slipped in from the Street Fighter universe and everything, so it's not my fault. So we're gonna give combo to to Zeku just because you know he'll do four damage, kill Felicia off of that one hit in that situation. You can do Emergency Strike, which is fine because I can afford it. I can, yeah, I can afford it. I, Felicia won't kill me in that situation. Actually, she actually would kill me. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna kill. Me. You're gonna Reckless Charge. That is fine. I will take that. I will take that. And you're gonna take this three damage. You have shield? Oh, that's fine. GG. Let's go. I see I didn't have to use Raffalos to win. It's still a Street Fighter theme deck and everything. 
But speaking of Rathalos, let's move on and check out my Monster Hunter uh, theme deck. And hopefully there's no Street Fighter characters in there. Alright, so we have the Rathalos deck. And this time, uh, yeah, the Monster Hunter deck. And yeah, you know, there's no Street Fighter characters here. It's all monsters. All uh, Rathalos's, Toby, Kiachi, Sergios, uh, Kula, Yaku, Felines, and stuff like that. Yeah, I never played Monster Hunter, but no, they're really strong in this game. So let's check it out see how good they are. Alright, so we got Rathalos right here, and it's gonna be a Rathalos mirror, so, you know, we gotta obviously put the feline with the shield right away. Um, he has the BB Hood. Oh, interesting deck that he has, too. It's probably experimental, but we have the Superior Monster Hunter deck. So, you know, we got the feline. We have this dude. He has unblockable, so you can't really defend against that, right? Okay, you got that card as well. So we got the Tobo Kidiachi, you know, gives me that plus one. Boom, goes down right away. And we got the Lightning Bolt too. The Lightning Bolt's gonna be pretty good as well. Does two damage and it gives me the same card back into my EX pocket. So yeah, he's gonna give a friendly plus unit two too. But you know, I kind of need to kind of spend that, right? I need to spend that that damage in general. And you know, that's fine. We're gonna buff you, buff you up at the same time. And look, I got another card as well. So we could we could we're able to do another two damage if anything if he gets kind of out of hand. So we don't want it. We don't want you out of hand, right? We definitely don't want you out of hand. So yeah, we're gonna spend that again. Hopefully, if you have another one, I'll probably just spend it in general. So, yeah. So, we're going to trade right here. That 5 damage needs to go. He needs to go bye-bye. So, you're going to take that 5 damage right there. I have the Sergios with the combo as well. The flight combo is also really, really strong. So, it's one of those things that, you know, we might as well add the unblockable characters in there, right? We might as well add more unblockables in that situation. Okay. So, you're going to power that up. Um, so plus one, you know, try to try to buff up my raffle Woken, right? Because that's the point is buffing up that raffle Woken. And yeah, you're gonna do that, which is fine. You know, you get that four. So I'm probably gonna just take you down first, right? I'm gonna take you down first because I don't want to trade. That's kind of like a waste at that point, right? I don't want to waste my my attack. So yeah, we're gonna take you down. Oh, I just mistimed it. I try to be slick, try to get that right away. How much damage would I got? I would have got off. I would got six damage to that four. But hey, six and five, that's actually pretty strong at the moment. So that's gonna be pretty good, right? So I can you know, I can obviously inflict seal as well. So you know, we're gonna have that victory guy right here, two and five. And um, you know, we have we have you know, we're looking really good. We got the Dragon Lord Judgment just in case, you know, if, if something goes out of hand, we'll do that, deal that 12 damage out of nowhere. So yeah, I don't know what he's trying to save up for. Oh, he's trying to save up for Lady. You were trying to save up for Lady. Alright. So we're gonna try to see if we guess right here. Oh yeah, you're trying to buff your characters up, but at least I could do I, I can actually take like uh six more damage before anything, which is nice. So yeah, I do this, but that was a bad play on my part, because there's no way. It's gonna do nine damage to your one. It's random, right? Oh, that's actually it actually pretty worked out. Eight and four, right? I almost got nine damage off it. That was almost luck right there, right? That was really almost luck. Hey, look, you you're really one turn away from 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 this situation. Oh yes, he thought you were gonna lady was gonna kill me, and that was the Raphalos uh, theme deck right there. So let's move on to our final deck. We're gonna be playing X. So this is my X deck. So obviously it's from all the characters from Mega Man series. So. Uh, we have Iris, we have the Colonel from Mega Man X4, you know, all the auto heals, the lairs, pretty much all the robot looking characters. So, I mean, what, let's let's see how it works out. You know, I'm, I hope I get the metal wing strategy that I've been working on, so it's been really fun. Alright, so we got the X versus X mirror match. Uh, both have charge shot, but right away I got the metal wing. So, my, my strategy with the metal wing is to uh, put it in flight, also with the auto heal at the same time. And you know it's gonna be a really good strategy because the, the good the good thing about this card is that um, every time it does attack it gains four damage. So that means it does five damage every single time it attacks. But if you attack it, it will only do one damage, right? Defense back. So my man, the victory Chris is definitely annoying, right? Look, he has ten health back, which is fine. You only do two damage, that's that's fine. But I'm gonna have. Uh, metal wing flight plus auto heal so it's gonna be really hard for you to kill me so we're gonna be trading attacks over and over and i have the armor armadillo and once i get the charge shot ready i'm only three away right once i get that charge shot ready it's gonna be amazing right so i'm gonna do double auto heal so now you know because you're you have chris here and you're only you're only taking one damage every single time 
right? It's gonna be really annoying for you. Now you're gonna do three damage, but because I have double auto heal, it's gonna be the same situation where I'm gonna get probably like four damage. I'm probably gonna get four health every single time back, right? Or maybe just we just tie it up with three every single time, but it's gonna be close to four every single time, right? So, like, Metal Wing is not gonna go down, and look at this. My man Mega Man over there on the right side is kinda hurt. You can buff your Chris all you want. It's not gonna help you. You should have charge shot first. Now I'm gonna charge shot now. So now, every time I auto heal, I get a plus one attack every single time. So look at my attack just going up. He's gonna do his, you know, whatever. That's completely fine. But, like, it's godlike, right? The fact that I can do this, it's amazing. So now I'm gonna just save up, right? Just in case I got the emergency supply going on. Look at this. Look at this. Mmm. The nine health. Every time, though, it just keeps going up. Attacks keep going up. So, every, like I said, every time I attack you, I get a plus four health at the same time. Right? So, now you're hoping that to wipe me out with this four attack. Right? With this eight attack damage or stuff like that. But, it's one of those things that just does six because, you know, you chose it on Chris. Right? Look at this. Oh, my God. Metal Wing. Let's go. That was... When, when you get a good X deck, it's really fun. It's really, really fun. And that was the Teppin video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Please like, share, subscribe, and shout out to Tide Time for giving me the idea for making the, the theme decks. It's actually really, really fun, making me enjoy the game a lot more than I already am. So yeah, shout outs to him and all that good stuff. Peace. All right, you guys made it to the end of the video, so shout outs to you for that. But just also, also want to do a little plug-in you know, obviously I have my J Wong hat, also my new J Wong shirt. So come check it out on the Design by Human store. So if you guys want to support me and, you know, just make more some more content, you know, it'd be really nice for you to just grab some, you know, some of the swag I've been posting out, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So really big shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, check out the Design by Human um, shop with uh, just the J Wong brand in the link description below and all that good stuff. And yeah, I mean, just check out the description. You might see some cool stuff there, right? Peace.